We've done bluefin tuna on the show once before, but this is yellowfin, and this is a preparation that we do here pretty often. Uh, it's a nice light dish once again. Um, I've got a, a completely clean piece of loin here. A lot of people uh, don't associate Louisiana with tuna, but actually we're the number two tuna fishery in the United States after Hawaii. I'm going to sprinkle this with just a little bit of kosher salt. I've got a little bit of soy sauce right here. I'm going to let it roll it over, let it sit in there for a second. I'm going to moisten my hands with water. And I've got a little bit of seaweed paper. Now a lot of our ingredients here are pretty much ready to go at the, at the Asian store. I'm going to try to cut this to fit a little bit. I'm going to place the tuna right there and just roll it up and kind of seal the edge. Okay. We've got a pre-prepared hot pan here. You can see it's smoking a little bit. And I'm going to cook this tuna on all four sides for maybe just about five seconds a side, maybe ten seconds. You hear that sizzle when it hits the pan. And while that's cooking, I'm going to mix up our slaw. But just pretty basic slaw ingredients here with kind of an Asian flair. It's got some shiitake mushrooms, some uh, chopped green onion, some carrot, and some cabbage. And the dressing is made out of soy sauce, lemon juice, canola oil. It's got just a little bit of sesame oil just to give it some flavor. I'm going to go and reach behind me and turn the tuna over now. I want to get all four sides equally if I can. Place that right on this decorative plate here. We've got a little bit of pickled ginger, a little bit of seaweed salad, a little bit of more soy sauce, and got some wasabi here that's already been mixed up with a little water. Place that right on there. Time to turn our tuna again. And you do need a good sharp knife for this. Okay, and that's all the cooking that's going to get right now. Go ahead and slice it. I'm using the entire length of my knife to get a nice clean cut. And I'm going to place this under the salamander just for a second. shingle it on the plate. As you can see, basically this is a raw tuna dish. It, very little cooking involved in it at all. And that's the finished dish.